Um, another thing I like about having these blades around is, and another thing I'm glad about that we're in a, uh, a real world environment, is, you see this, this cylinder, it has lots of scores around it, okay? Um, so folks have been cutting the, the mounting tape, they put the mounting tape on and they've been cutting there and over the weeks, days, months, or years, or whatever, you get all these grooves on there. And this is so common. I rarely come into a press room, um, unless you're talking about serious folks, where this isn't happening. And sometimes even on the best conditions, this is happening, but what should happen is that these bur burrs should be removed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to illustrate on the board what my mind's eye see happens with these bur burrs and why I use a razor, and then I'll actually come over here to use the razor, okay? We're gonna, I'm gonna draw on the board here, a circle, and we're gonna pretend we're looking at the cylinder from the end, not from the side, okay? Here's your cylinder. This is a hole for the bearing. And you have that surface there, okay? Now, I'm gonna draw an exaggerated view. <laughs> when you cut into an aluminum base uh, cylinder like this is, uh, your razor blade cuts into the cylinder. But what actually happens right at that point is, and that's an exaggerated view, when you're cutting into that cylinder, some of the material along or on the side of the cut gets displaced. It doesn't disappear. This, this, the, the razor does not e, uh, vaporize the aluminum. The aluminum has to go somewhere. So what happens is all the, you know, an equal volume of what you're cutting into the cylinder is going to come out. It's displaced out. You get these little burrs up here, okay? Again, that's an exaggeration, but that's what's happening there. So what I like to do is, I like to take the razor, and let's say this is the razor blade, and this is the top part there, okay? You see it right here? The little hole and the ends. So when I take this razor, and I go over the surface slightly at a, at, a, at, a, at a trailing angle like this, I'm able to, the sides of, the, of that trough are going to keep that blade from going down further, and I'm going to kind of smooth off the surface of that cylinder, and it'll be very nice when I'm done. Um, as opposed to what some guys do is they take sandpaper or emery cloth, and they sand it and remove it, but what happens that, to that is that the emery cloth will indiscriminately sand these areas here, reducing them, when what you really want to do is remove those high points. So what I'm trying to do is focus on the higher spots, and if I just remove that, even if there's a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a, of a scratch left on there, it's not going to affect things. So I'll go ahead and do that on a couple of these. I'm not going to do the whole cylinder because otherwise it will take too much time. So what I'm doing is, now, if we were to look at the cylinder this way, <clears throat> okay, so if I'm looking at the cylinder this way now, the blade is actually, this is less than a right degree angle as I move the blade that way. It's, it's, and this is greater than a right, than a 90 degree angle. So the blade, the bottom of the blade, it's actually trailing, not, it, not going into the cut, but trailing away from the cut. So I just have kind of a little rubbing right there. And that is great. I mean, it's amazing how it works once you get the hang of it. I go all the way across here. And I'm really removing very little material. I'm moving, most of what I'm removing is, or are, the burrs on the surface. And it feels very good there. So I would do that all the way around. And if I'm keeping an eye on it as an operator, I, when I go to mount my plate, or when, as a plate mounter, ideally, when I go to mount my plate, if I inspect it and I see a burr there and I remove that burr, then it's going to stay maintained. Another thing you can do is spin these things on a lathe with a Scotch-Brite pad, and it does a pretty good job too, but I like to still knock it down 
and uh, and when you're using a scotch bike pad, you won't you won't remove as much material as when you remove as when you use a um, emery cloth. Okay, so you get the idea there, right? I'm just uh, preparing my cylinder for mounting. All right, and we would make our cylinder nice and smooth. So let's go back to the mounting table. 